good day all and welcome back to our channel today let's see how we can use product configurator in order 15 point of sale uh, that allows us to choose different product attributes and sell product variants to our customers so uh, before going to point of sale module let's activate uh, the variance feature and product configurator from configuration settings so from sales configuration settings you can see under product catalog already we have activated variants uh, so that we can sell variants of a product using attributes like size color dimension material etc so uh, as you uh, when you activate this variance here we can configure our, our attribute like here we have already some got some pre-configured attributes so we'll get back to this later uh, before that uh, activating variants let's enable this feature for configurator so this opens a configurator window and it displays uh, the configured different product attributes and you can choose attributes and sell variants of a product using these attributes and we have already seen how uh, this can be used in our wholesale shop that is in sales module in order to sell variants to customers so if you want to know about it you can check the link above so now let's see how this computer is used in our point of sale for that uh, here we have our point of sale and you can find the dashboard so here let's open the settings of our shop and uh, in the section point of sale interface you can see that feature configurator is not enabled for our shop so after enabling this just save the point of sale and if you want to activate other features like if you want to add customer notes if you want to improve navigation using large scroll bar then if you want to use price list Give global discounts, manual discounts, then generate invoice, automatically print receipt. So after doing that, just save them. Point of sale. Now before starting session, uh, here let's open our products. So you can find all the products available in Point of Sale. Now let me open product deck chair. So for this product, let's add some attributes and values and create variants. So you, know, you can click on add a line and choose attribute for your product. Like if you have a search mode, you can find all the attributes. Let me add attribute click and set values like steel, aluminum, um, you want to add custom you can add custom then color white black rainbow so i've added four colors and here when you go to external link of the attribute you can find the details like uh, inside the attribute form you can see the display type is color and variance creation mode is instantly. That means if you set it as instantly, then uh, after setting the attribute and values for your product, variant will be variance will be instantly created. And if you set it as dynamically, then variance will not be instantly created, but uh, after a purchase, variance will be created. And if you set it as never, then variants will not be created. But you can uh, sell variants to your customers. So uh, here we can see four of our color attributes already set as instantly. Instantly, variants will be created. And if you want to uh, hide this attribute from e-commerce shop, that is, if you don't want to filter products uh, using this attribute, then you can make it hidden. Or otherwise you can make it visible so that uh, it will be shown in the e-commerce shop to filter your product using 
this attribute. So here we can find the attribute values in color given. Same way for lids also you can see parents creation mode instantly display type is radio and uh, you can see it is visible in e-commerce. Now let me change this to fills. So the spills is a new type of display type introduced in order 15. So you can see that. Now let me save this. So when you save the product form, you can see instantly 12 variants are created. So it is, uh, that is, uh, we have three values for legs and four values for color. So it is three into four, it is 12 variants. You can see steel with white color, steel with black, steel with blue color. It means uh, deck chair with leg steel. Uh, then deck chair with aluminum leg in blue color. Now, here we also have an option to configure your product varying values. So here for our attribute leg, let's click on configure. And here you can add extra price uh, for a particular varying value. So for steel, I'm adding extra price 50. Then you have also an option to exclude this for a particular attribute value. Like if you don't want a chair with steel leg having a color blue, you can choose that product. Blue. And I also don't want a uh, seal in rainbow color. Same way for colors also, we can do that. Now let's go back to our dashboard and here let's start a new session. Now let's open a session and can find uh, for deck chair. All the variants. You can see deck chair uh, with aluminum leg in black color, color, then aluminum leg in blue color, then rainbow. Like this way for uh, different in different uh, leg materials and in colors, you can view the variants of the product deck chair. And here for this, these four products, these four variants, you can see extra forty five. Because we have set an extra charge for the tech chair with uh, steel leg. So now we can add uh, these products to order line. So you can choose them. Okay, so as we have added tracking, I have to provide lock number. So you can see different variants are added in the order line and you can choose a customer and uh, we, can, we can make the payment validated and you can find uh, all the variants shown inside the receipt. You can find uh, the price separately and the total amount. Now let's again open the product. We opened attribute. Here, let me create a new attribute leg with variance creation mode. Never. So here we can add values.
and create one more attribute color with variance creation mode never Now I'm going to delete these variants and can we search for the color with variance creation mode never? We can add values. Then I'm going to choose. Like with variance creation mode never. And save the form. So you can see uh, no variants are created instantly. And now make sure that you have chosen the sales variant selection as product configurator. So this will display a product configurator window and that from that window, we will be able to choose attributes and sell variants uh, for our customers. So now let's continue our selling uh, from a point of sale. So here we can see for deck chair, no variants are created. Because for both the attributes, we have set variance creation mode as never. Now, if you choose this product, uh, like if you try to add this to order line, you can see the product configurator shown. And from here, we'll be able to uh, set attribute, like uh, you can find attribute click. You can choose a value. Then you can set the color attribute. And if you click on add, provide lots and you can see that deck chair is added to the order line with uh, aluminum leg in black color now again if you click on this you can choose a different variant by selecting the attribute value so wooden leg deck chair with in pink color. Now again, after choosing payment method, we can validate the payment and we can find the generated uh, receipt. So you can see that variance shown, total amount. Now again, we can create in order. For product, let me remove this color and add my attribute color with variance creation mode instantly. So you can see here one attribute have a variance creation mode instantly and the other one is variance creation mode never. Now let me save the form. And if you continue sell, here we can see instantly three variants are created for the product deck chair because for the attribute uh, uh, color, we have set variance creation mode as instantly. And when you choose deck chair with color, we can see here the product configurator where it shows the attribute leg. So we can choose one value for this attribute.
So you can see margins are added to the order line. So that's how we make use of product configurator to sell different variants to customers. So that's all for this video. And if you want to know more about this, or if you're looking for any customization in your business, uh, in point of sale or in any other modules, you can drop a request to odwardsideprocess.com.